All right, so I've got a couple of cards that I got off of Facebook. These are W516 strip cards. We've got a Ty Cobb and a Walter Johnson. Now, these came, came in a screw down holder. The image that I was sent was of two cards in a screw down. And, you know, normally that is a pretty good sign that we've got a couple of fakes on our hand. But I took a shot on these. I, you know, look like these were pretty authentic. But, you know, I just got these today. We're going to take a look, try to unscrew these and see what we have here. Okay, so I finally got those out of the screw down holder. That was quite an ordeal. Uh, for any kind of novice card shippers, <clears throat> please don't put any scotch tape on the outside of the packages or the, if you have a screw down holder or typically what you should be doing to ship these cards is putting them in uh, a penny sleeve uh, with some sort of plastic protector. You know, whether it's um, like one of these just kind of top loader cards or they have the, um, the harder plastic sleeves that you can put those in. But whatever. So we've got the two cards out. You know, my first glance is that these look pretty good. But there are a ton of these counterfeits out there. So we're going to have to do a little bit. Of a closer look. All right, so I've got these out of the sleeves. Now, one of the things that you can do with these cards is take a good whiff of them, right, to see how old they are. Um, I've smelled these; they smell like a carton of cigarettes. I don't, <laughs> I don't really smell much age, but they really smell just like butts. Pretty gross. So it's it's kind of like, it's hard to tell if there's, you know, just an overwhelming, if the uh, cigarette smell is overwhelming the age of these things, or if it's, you know, a little bit of a combination of both. It's hard to tell. Let's take a look at the back of these two. The paper is very flimsy, which is a good sign. These strip cards are printed on really, really um, really skimpy paper. Now the Johnson looks like the cardboard is a little bit thicker. Um, the other thing about the strips is that there's a lot of inconsistency on these. So it, it can be true that, you know, you might have one that, you know, has a heavier, sort of cardboard than the other. Okay, so another thing with the strips is they, what you'll notice, because of the printing that these machines were done on, there's a lot of blotchiness with the ink dots. So we're gonna look at Cobb's arm and an indication to me that this is absolutely a real card. Um, you can just look at his hand and see all those little blotches of ink, right? If this were done on a more modern type of dot matrix printer, then you'd see a lot more consistency in the printing and you can just kind of see it. I know I'm trying to get the right angle, but um, certainly looks authentic to me just based on those dots. Johnson, I'm honestly having a little bit tougher time diagnosing. Um, you know, it looks real, but the weight of the cardboard is a little bit concerning to me. Um, and I'm just, I don't know, it's hard to tell on this one. This one's just a little bit more difficult. So I think the next step will be a black light test to see if these things are gonna fluoresce under light. Okay, so now what we're going to do is conduct a black light test. We've got our man Dave Winfield, one of the stars of baseball. And that is a more modern card. I believe that's like a, a newer um, reprint of an 87 Tops. But we can see 
If we shine the light on that, you can see how that, and make sure if you have the black light on that you're in a dark room, right? You want as little light to be in that room as possible. Uh, we can see if we shine that light on the Winfield card, it fluoresces. And the reason that fluoresces is because of the, uh, the chemicals and the materials that they use in the paper, it fluoresces under light. And, that, and these are just brighteners that they use in the paper. Now, if we move it over to these other two cards, you can see that they're really, you know, it, it's gonna get some light because of the black light. You can see it kind of shining on that, but it's not the same sort of fluorescence that you get when you put it over newer paper. So that, to me, uh, tells me that these cards were not printed on modern day paper, you know, sometime probably after the 1950s. Thus, uh, I think our conclusion is that these are both authentic cards.